morning guys from Davao here in the Philippines and we have an extremely exciting day today. We're not spending it in the city because two kilometers away there is the island garden city of Samal. Would you have thought this huge city would have beautiful islands that are would you have thought that this big city would have a beautiful island only two kilometers away by ferry? Um, I am super excited to explore it and we just need to work out how to get there, get to the ferry port and then head over and find the white beaches right near Davao. I still find it so strange that we can go from a huge city like this to beaches in like 20 minutes. We need to get taxi, ferry and then fingers crossed rent a bike to explore the island. Thank you. We have made it to the ferry port and for 10 pesos, about 20 pence each, we have got our ticket to go across to Samal Island. It is also a ferry for cars as well. Cars all sorts seem to be transported across. You can actually pay more and get like a speed boat for, to one of the resorts because it's a resort island. Um, we want to get this because if we go to a resort, we will sort of be stuck at the resort all day. And supposedly these are 24 hours so we can get back at any time. Five minutes later and we have made it to Samal. You can see the city of Davao behind me. There is actually a couple of resorts already right here next to the ferry terminal and on the front here. I'm not sure, the water looks nice, but I'm not sure I would fancy going in them so close to the city and uh, so close to all these big cargo ships going across. How much is a scooter for the day? How much did he say to you? Right outside of the ferry terminal, there are lots of tricycles, lots of vans, but what we came for was the bikes. They start off incredibly high. Like, honestly, these prices were crazy. We managed to get it down for half a day because it is midday to 450 pesos, which isn't too bad. And we have a sparkling new bike. Viewing. Yeah, yeah, okay. Just viewing. Yeah, just yes. viewing. It's Thank good you. to viewing the um, boys. Okay. It's close, man. I love that. There's nothing better than riding around these islands on a scooter. Um, but our first stop is Hagime Falls. We're lucky to actually get in here. It's supposedly closed for rehabilitation, which is always good, you know. You want to keep it nice and clean. But luckily, one of the locals has taken us down to it. Supposedly, we can't swim, but we can have a look at it. The blue, the way that it falls down over the rock, um, and it's just so, so natural. There's so many levels, I, re I really want to go in there. Yeah, I know, it's me, teasing! Me Look at this, we are literally 30 minutes from Dapao City right now, and this is the main Hagamit Pool. I think five feet, did you say five feet? Five feet. And basically there's little caves and slides. So you can slide down from each level to the next. Just look. Look at this color. This color. Ridiculous. We are super lucky. I'm currently standing on the main part of the Hagamit Falls. And don't tell anyone that we're sort of allowed to swim. I'm allowed for one to paddle minute. for one minute. I'm allowed a one minute paddle because our guide is so kind. Are you ready? We have this all to ourselves. We have it all to ourselves. Like, when would you ever get this to yourself? I don't know. But... Woo! Oh, it is cold. But so fresh. So blue. I'm scared to get in. He said four to seven feet. That is quite deep. Unbelievable. Supposedly, it will be reopened in, like, two to three months. And I'm pretty sure then this will be absolutely packed. Slides, caves. Like, I think there's, like, 11 waterfalls cascading down here. 
too good. It's only right in a spot like this. Oh my god, yeah, this is what we always used to do, wasn't it? Blue Gatorade. You're, you're drinking the water. Drinking the water. Just want to quickly interrupt today's video as we've noticed there's a lot of you guys on here that are not following us on Instagram and it's the best place to see all the behind the scenes where we are traveling up to date and we are doing some amazing giveaways so make sure you're following us at Dublin Travel. That's the video. We were so lucky, the pool's actually closed for three months uh, for restoration but if you can sweep to the then you can get in but we're back on the bike. And then as soon as we come across to this side, it's cloudy and looks like it's going to rain. I don't know if this beach was a good idea. That was a 30 minute drive across the mountains and then like a 30 minute walk down to Canny Bad Beach on the complete opposite side of the island. I think pretty much every beach here is owned by some sort of resort or resorts so there's an entrance fee to all of them but this oh yeah this is nice molly look at this that's not really i thought it was going to be secluded it's busy but it's definitely a secret gem it's a local it's, it's, a, it's a local beach of yeah Samar. even though i think most beaches are local but it's not like high-end resorts it's like seven tiny little ones 60 pesos entry <laughs> paradise the water is very very blue you can even get a kayak i think as well but i'm not going to do that i'm just paddling for the minute because we don't have that much time here we're actually going to try and do uh, as many beaches on the island as possible yeah, I, think, um, I wouldn't probably recommend coming all the way over this side if you want to yeah. spend the day at this beach do it but for, for only coming for like half an hour i definitely would recommend sticking to the side closest to the port so that you have more time to explore on the bike the weather is also changing very very quickly but like i said if you wanted to come for the day and find like a really nice beach i'd say this i don't know what the beaches are like the other side but i presume the closer to the val city maybe they're not going to be as nice so we've come over the other side they're more secluded you get a whole bay like this full of seven tiny little local resorts um but now we've got to go all the way back we've literally come here to look at it to leave Bye bye. Thank you. The steepest stairs ever designed. Oh, I'd stay over on the uh, the Deval side, the Deval city side of some hours. Oh, this was long. And we made it just before the rain, the thunderstorm came back in and we've come across back towards uh, the Deval side and we found this really fancy resort called Club Samal. Um, We're right next to the port actually. We so. are. I, I don't know if I'd swim in their water but it's like a five star resort so it's a good spot for lunch. This is quite fancy. Cheers. Cheers. This is why you come to Samal. One of the reasons is that it is a resort island. It's crazy how they vary from the local beach all the way on the other side to the main resort, so it's sort of all opposite the Val City, which I, I don't know if it makes that much sense because I don't know how good the sea is there, um, but the pool is lovely. This is a lovely resort, Club Samal. We have a pizza on the way and the prices are actually pretty reasonable. It's crazy that that to be there and I literally can see the Val City behind me. I kind of regret not planning two extra days to be able to stay on this island because today we literally had no chance to see everything. There is island hopping, there's like a bat cave that you can see, there's Talikud Islands, like a really like, apparently that's like the picturesque island, more picturesque than Samar, just off, uh, I suppose this is sort of the mainland towards a, a smaller island, um, more beaches, more resorts, most of them are resorts, so I feel like to go on a lot of the beaches you are going to have to pay. The old favourites out, very traditional. We couldn't not come to a fancy resort, get a drink, get pizza, why not? Salama, thank, thank, you. thank you. The best, if you want to get the best car or bike rental in Samal, Woo! come to these guys, we'll tag you below. <laughs> <laughs> Two please. Thank you. Food. 
was not too bad, but the island itself was definitely good fun. I'd highly recommend it. Probably again, need longer than a day to see everything. Um, and the guys that we rented the bike from, we'll tag them below. They're really, really nice. They actually, uh, we thought that people were charging a little bit more at first. But it wasn't even them, it was someone else trying to be like a middleman to get a good deal. They started off saying different prices, then we went to the actual people. Great prices, so we'll tag them below because you definitely need a bike to see as much of this island in a day. But bye bye, Samal. Back to the Val. Back into Val. Hello. Good evening, Hi. thank you. Ten minutes on the ferry and a quick taxi and we are back in Deval, back in bed, relaxing here at Microtel by Wyndham. Again, if you're staying in Deval, highly recommend this place to stay in. It is perfectly located. Staff are amazing. Just stay here if you come. But Samal, again, if you have a spare day after exploring the city of Deval, head to Samal and check out the resort. So I was a little bit confused. I couldn't find like a public beach. I felt like every beach we went to was sort of private or you had to pay but maybe there probably is some uh public beaches on there from cheap resorts um to really high-end resorts the club somehow was okay for like a fancy place the food was okay i can presume it's pretty expensive to stay there but again there's cheap options as expensive there's in between it's a really cool island considering you're only like 10 minutes from this huge city of the val and the waterfall it's so nice for the guy to let us check out the waterfall but we only have one evening left in the val to explore, which is a shame until we head somewhere new. So we'll see you in the next one for that.